Hey guys, I want to welcome you to my new redstone tutorial. I know there's a lot out there, but this is more aimed at applying it. I'm going to teach you all how to use it, how to do it, but then I'm going to actually go and show you the use of it. I mean, most people don't see the use in a massive com computer, and there's not really on Minecraft, but there are other things that are quite useful, especially map builders. Is there will be a section of this series where we build, build an adventure map. There, sorry, there. I stuttered a bit. But all right, let's get started. This is a block. You've probably seen them before if you play Minecraft. You probably know it drops cobble in survival mode. But this thing here, redstone, as you can see, it's a drop form. Can't be placed in the air. Obviously, it needs the block. That's why the block is the most important part about redstone. Because you can't do anything without it most of the time. Now, redstone itself. It is like a wire. It can be on or off. So, like this, on or off. Next is redstone torch. This, I've I will show you crafting after. I just want to get through it first. Alright. This can apply power, as I just showed, to redstone. And it's pretty easy to craft. Just like a normal torch, but instead of coal, redstone. It is another core part of most projects. Next up, we have the repeater. It's like a diode, a resistor, and, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it delays a current, causes the current to go further than it normally could, and only lets the current go one way. And I'll show you here. Normal current goes 15 blocks, ends here. With a repeater, it goes much further. Now there's also a delay, so if I break this, you watch it there. If I break this, it's off. But with this, it delays a little bit. And also, if I place the torch at this end, it doesn't go any further than that. So it's very useful. Okay, next up, these are like enti entity activated current. So we have pressure plates. You both do the same thing, except this one needs a player or mob, this one player, mob, or item, as you can see. Yeah. Next we have the button, as you can guess. It, it stays on for a short while, and it turns it on. Next we have a lever, this is like a light switch. Once it's on, it stays on. You can place redstone there, there, well, there, pretty much anywhere around it, even below. Okay, next is, this is for mine cards. It's a pressure plate, but with the, with a mine card, basically. Come on, break. Work somewhere. So those are inputs. Those are most of the most basic. There's a few tricky ways you can do it. I'll show them later. Not in this episode, later in the series. Okay. Woo! Lag. Okay. So now we have these are basic output. I'm sure you all know what a door is. This is an iron door. Can't obviously be open with your hand. And we have this, which is just and then it causes the Minecart to shoot off. That needs redstone. Okay, let's, let's go over here and show you just the basics. I know this is very boring for a lot of you, because you'll know this bit. Let's get a bit so I can sleep after. So, door. Don't really need a lever, but it's useful. These obviously you do. Can't get through. That closes automatically. And yeah. Pretty boring stuff. Same deal with the pressure plate. Yeah. And 
getting any difference. Oh. There we are. Okay. Now. So, you should probably all get that. It's pretty basic. The next, this is the more tricky bit. Not so tricky for me, but maybe for some others. It's a minecart open door. Press the button. It opens the door. Oh, damn it. We can easily reset that. Not like that. My cuts annoy me. And then it's open forever. Okay, I'm just gonna sleep quickly. I have got single player commands on yet. Oh, I probably won't because 1.3. There's a few things in there I'll go back to talk about. I'm gonna break that. Let's keep it down. So, next thing with repeaters. I had one over there to put current in the door. It's creating dual lock time systems. They don't, it's not a lock, but you have to do it, you have to time your run precisely right to get through. So if you watch, okay, ooh, I've got some Bad for 3 updates going in the background, so sorry about that. If I, alright, there. Distraction. So if I press this button, but just mosey on down, I won't make it, obviously. I could just mine through, but that's not very sporty. So that's that's pretty much basic. That's how the repeaters work. Now you need this here, because otherwise Oh, it does open actually. Why do I put them there? Alright, oh, timing. Up. It's just a timing thing. To give you some time. I forgot why I had them there. But anyway. So now that's that's over, I'm gonna show you the next few things. These are inverters. Basically, if I turn this on, it turns the current off. That's very really useful if you have Say a mine card that's keeping a door open, they park it, turns it off, or whatever you like. Same deal with the button, and yes. Now this uses three inverters, basically, and it requires two currents to then turn that one on. And if one of them's on, then that's off. So now go now. It's a very useful little thing. You can do it with many of them. It doesn't have to be two. But two is the most common. Now over here, we have something a little more complex. It uses the same little system, as you can see, to open a door. This is very useful in adventure maps if it's two player. If they're two players in different place places then they both have to drop an item and then that item stays there for five minutes before despawning then they have to go through a door or two doors however you like so yes I'll implement that in an adventure map I'll be building very well after I've done this series now next thing up is combo locks now as you can see I've marked it. Whoop. This is how it works. It has two inverters on the wall and two normal current. And so you have to you now this is just a very basic one with switches, so it's pretty easy to figure out. And so you have to put the right switch on, these these two, to turn these two torches off, which then sends a current through to this one. So you use a two to turn off this one, which then sends the current down here here into an inverter, which then turns on another inverter, which then opens the door. It's very simple, but very useful. So on, doesn't do anything. You can go like this. 
doing that doesn't do anything. If I have those two down, you can walk through. Mm. Yep. So that's it for this episode. But be tuned, stay tuned, because there will be many more, and we'll get into how a lot of this can be useful in your actual worlds or on servers. And yeah. Mm. There'll be two series that come after the, the tutorial series, or there'll be sections of the series, depending on the way I do it. There'll be one applying it to survival mode, and there'll be one applying it to an adventure map. So yes, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.